I have always thought the words like serenity and solitude do not belong to Hong Kong. She was always lively and bustling, standing at the center of the world. But in the midst of the pandemic, this now quiet and isolated hospital was once the center of fighting against the coronavirus. The state-of-the-art hospital saved lives and made history in architecture. I'm traveling around the world to visit a league of ambitious new engineering wonders and find out the extraordinary building challenges and the intelligence given to those giants. Well, I'm so excited. <laughs> Above, of course, will be all the pipings. <laughs> Everything has been designed. <laughs> yes. Cool. When we got the mission of building this hospital, that was in July um, 2020, because that was the third episode in Hong Kong. Dr. Chu is the veteran of Hong Kong's public health care. For two decades, she led her team to fight against epidemics, SARS in 2003. But COVID-19 was unprecedentedly overwhelming, and beds were running out. So that was a nightmare experience. Cases were running at the hundreds every day. It needed an epidemic control hospital to prevent the spread of what was often a fatal disease. You don't want the dirty air in the patient's room to come out and infect staff outside. Surrounding your environment. Yeah. Okay. So the only thing you can do that is to create a pressure difference. It was Jiang Yi's job to build a new hospital with about 800 beds in four months. Traditionally, when we need to build and design a hospital project, we usually take more than five years. And this is a very huge challenge for everybody. This is what Jiang Yi and his team must somehow build. To minimize construction time, the team will use the innovative method called Modular Integrated Construction, or MIC. They use steel structure to build a central corridor. Standardized isolation wards on both sides will be built with each cubicle composed of three MIC units, which are prefabricated off-site in factories. With most of controlling systems assembled at the same time, and then transported to the site for installation. That means in extremely compressed period, they will be mass producing six ward buildings with 136 negative pressure wards and 816 beds that meet the strict permanent hospital standards of Hong Kong. And all of these units was built right here in China's Zhuhai. On those assembly lines are houses, from bedrooms to bathrooms, to kitchens and living rooms, they're all put together and lined up, waited to be assembled. A bathroom walks around and stairs fly above your head inside this real-life version of Hogwarts. It's just so crazy. In a factory, building an apartment is pretty much like building a car. And we start with chassis, or the underneath part of building blocks, which is filled with pipes and ducts 
for plumbing and electrical works. And by the end of this process, it goes out of a door and it's a fully formed apartment. Just like Legos, that you can put them together to form a completed building. It's not just what can be prefabricated into a module. Innovation can buy them more time. A water pumping system like this used to take 20 days to build on site, but a prefab module needs only 20 hours to install. And this type of building has another major benefit for public health sector. In a controlled factory environment, you can have greater quality control than ever. I would say that uh, at the very beginning, they are quite um, skeptical about this uh, technology in building hospitals because they are quite conservative in a certain sense. So in this situation, there is a need to be a point of view. But for the construction industry, in this point of view, it has been a big point of view. The lack of this technology The Lego pieces are ready. But time is still not on our side. Just one confirmed faction among thousands of construction workers will shut the project down for 12 days. So you can imagine when we have only four months to build this site, how can you lose 12 days? Yeah. No, you can't even lose 12 hours. Thanks to MIC, installation has been streamlined. The use of building information modeling allows every nook and cranny of those MIC blocks to be displayed in VR and AR devices, making construction more like playing video games. And once COVID-19 is gone, this module hospital still has unlimited potential, waiting to be moved and transformed at need. Construction industry is not as innovative as other industry. There's uh, no more sustainable to continue in this way. So we need to look for new technology to cope with our problem. The wave of factory-made architecture is re-emerging and people should remember this time it was kicked off by this hospital, an epidemic, and from this city. <laughs>